you'll enjoy the true life experience of Jade Long, a sister who was raised in the truth but slowly drifted during her teenage years. How was she helped to find her way back home? As a high school senior, I started to grow friendlier with those that I went to school with, as well as those that I worked with, and started to lead a double life. As time went by, what I thought wouldn't affect me began to affect me, and my relationship with Jehovah wasn't as strong as it once was, and I was drifting away from the organization. Within a matter of months, I realized I wanted to leave home. I decided to relocate to Oregon, and this would mean supporting myself and doing things by myself, for myself. My relationship with Jehovah had already weakened to the point where I started an emotional relationship with a man who was not a witness. Although it was emotional and not physical, it was a very serious relationship for me um, where we got very close very fast, and soon I realized that his standards did not match up with the standards set forth in the Bible. This was a time where I really had to sit down and decide what I wanted to do to either pursue a relationship with this man or Jehovah. I still believed in the truth that Jehovah had set out, so I chose Jehovah. I realized shortly after my breakup that I could not continue in my ways. I became very anxious. I also was very emotionally distraught, and this took me away from the meetings. When I tried to go back to meetings, not only did I feel guilt and anxiety of what people might do or react to me coming into the Kingdom Hall, but also just getting motivated to go proved to be a challenge. There were times when I would shower and I couldn't make it any farther along in my daily routine. There were times when I made it into my car, but I couldn't get the will to drive to the Kingdom Hall. And there were times where I made it to the Kingdom Hall, but I couldn't open the front door of the Kingdom Hall. So what started as a couple of months being away from meetings soon turned into six months, which soon turned into a year and then two years. I felt so distant from the congregation and from Jehovah, I realized it would take a big change for me to get back to the meetings and back to Jehovah. Not too long after this, I got to relocate to the East Coast with a job opportunity, and I saw this as a fresh start. And it happened to be also around the same time as the memorial, and I was surprised to find a letter in my mail from an elder in the local territory that had invited me. When it became night for the memorial, I was still anxious, knowing that I hadn't been to meetings outside of the memorial for over two and a half years. These were people that I had never met before, but I realized the importance of the memorial, and it was time for me to make my stand and show I had taken my stand. So I went to the memorial, there, I was welcomed by many people that were friendly, eager to meet me, and really encouraging for me to keep coming to the meetings. In time, I was attending all the meetings on a regular basis, and the elders approached me wanting to know if I wanted a Bible study. I had been raised in the truth and thought, I don't need a Bible study. However, I also knew that they would keep asking. And so when they came the second time and asked, I realized maybe I can't do it on my own. So I gladly accepted a Bible study with a sister in the congregation, and I'm so glad I did. She proved to be a listening ear. I had supported myself for so long. I realized that in life, you can't just rely on yourself. You need help. And she helped me see that Jehovah's always there to provide help, as well as those in the congregation. Specifically, she showed a Mia Watchtower article regarding Psalm 23, that Jehovah is our shepherd, that he cares for us, he wants to look out and protect us, be there to help us when we go through hard times. I also had the opportunity to have a Bible study with the circuit overseer when he was visiting our congregation. 
He was really encouraging and he helped me appreciate that from my background, I could look to others in the congregation and help them either when I see them going down a wrong path or when they're returning to the congregation and offer encouragement to them. I'm thankful that I came back to the congregation because now more than ever, I feel Jehovah is real and very interested in me. I've also received many blessings from coming back to Jehovah and his congregation. I found a loving husband who I've been able to work with on construction projects at Kingdom Halls and Assembly Halls. I've had an increased share in the ministry, even at times pioneering. And recently, I've been able to commute to Bethel as a part-time commuter. I am determined to stay close to Jehovah and His organization, so that way I can help others in the brotherhood going forward, whether it's on a one-on-one basis or a time of need such as a natural disaster. I want to make sure I can do all I can to help others.